This next poem is entitled Dream of the Language Wheel. Ancient elf bones stewing in the rain, angels the size of fruit flies circling a Buddha turd, star maps drawn in lipstick on the mud walls of opium towns. Images like those, scenes such as these, the red midgets of hell challenge Susie's friends to a snowball fight, or in the cave behind the waterfall, the ant king licks the clitoris of the sleeping anthropologist. Existing only on paper are yet more important than flags, Bibles, gold, guns, and reputation. So throw off your armor of acronyms, your layers of numerical padding, and come bathe with me, come slide beside me naked into the world's steamy honeycomb of words.